Welcome to the Hey Man, I'm John. I am Jacob. Hey man. Hey man. How you doing, dude? Good. How are you, bro? Good. Now, before we get into this, I just want to say, please do not drink into the microphone again. That noise, you are the grossest drinker. Don't you, don't you do it. By the way, I, I feel like you would have learned by now because what happens when I tell you I don't like something? I do it over and over again. Great. What's going to happen when you tell me you don't like something? But if you make that noise, I'm going to have to do the show without headphones. <laughs> no, then I'll just do it really loudly uh, so you can hear it when you don't. I don't need the mic. It's so crazy but you, you're how okay with loudly the, you drink. You're okay with the sound of you gulping? I don't come anywhere close to do what you're doing. You do it. Go ahead. Do it. You got to keep your headphones on. Uh, okay, I'll do it. Oh, we'll, you want to drink at the same time? Okay, no, no. We'll We'll compare... Who gulps louder? You go first. Okay, ready? Can't even hear it. Exactly, because I drink like a human. Oh my fucking God. That is the <laughs> craziest thing. It's like I'm sitting across from a bullfrog. <laughs> Ribbit, bitch. <laughs> I, you should have a t-shirt that says Ribbit, Ribbit bitch. bitch is hilarious. Uh, all right, man. Well, since we got, that's like number one pet peeve for me is people eating and drinking noises. Yeah. I'm going to let you know. I don't think I used to be this way, but ever since you said you hate it, I've become really adamant about making sure I'm, I do that. Yeah. Especially when I'm around you. Yeah. Yeah. It's really annoying. Uh, there's two, let me tell you the two, can I, can I tell you the two eating, drinking things that you do that drive me fucking crazy? Just drinking. Drinking. Just like, just drinking anything. Dude, and watching you lick your fingers drives me. Oh, like getting the, like, oh, the, the, the chip dust and my. shit? Oh my God. <laughs> and you hit everyone. Ba, 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 ba. Well, no, no don't, you don't hit the thumb. Yeah, I do. I, I eat with, I, I don't eat chips with all five fingers. I only eat chips with these three. Dude, there is a clip. That we posted of me and you on stage in Portland, where I'm high on mushrooms and you maybe squeeze a lime into your tequila and then you lick your fucking fingers. There was lime juice on oh my hand. Oh my God. Oh my God. There was lime juice on I my know, hand. Dude, those are two of my food things. You know, I, I have a lot of weird issues around food and no food noises. Mm -hmm. But the licking the fingers and the and the drink gulping are like next week, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to bring back a mukbang video <laughs> for sure. <laughs> bring you back a mukbang video. Yucky. Is wait. it just going to be you drinking again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put it on loop of just the sound of me drinking for an hour. That'd be awesome, actually. Just me doing that and. Make you a personalized mukbang video. Oh, yeah. Where it's just a legit hour loop of me eating a bag of chips and Ow. drinking a Gatorade. By the way, not only is mukbang terrible, but just the title mukbang. Where does that come from? It's a Korean word. It's like a legit. For what? Fucking gross? No, I, I'm pretty sure it's a legit Korean word for, for gross noises coming out of someone's pot, mouth hole. Mukbang? I don't know. Anyways. Uh, uh, the word mukbang is a Korean portmanteau okay. that translates to, to eating show, which is exactly what it is. Except it's not a show. It's more just like a video. But yeah, that's what that is. Okay. Anyways, um, good to see you, dude. Good to see you. Um, listen, there, there has been some news that you, I, that you and I completely disagree on. Hit me. This Kendrick Lamar... Super Bowl halftime mm -hmm. to me is, and you know me, I, I don't mind Kendrick Lamar. Mm -hmm. I think it's such a bad choice. Disagree. And I'll tell you why. It, it has nothing to do with his music. Mm -hmm. It has to do with the fact that you are officially leaving out probably anyone over the age of 35 maybe 40. That is a large 
part of the people. Now, I would say halftime is for gays and girls. I would agree with that. It's mostly gays and girls. Mm -hmm. But you are leaving out a large demo in this country. Listen, I know it's not popular to say, but there are a lot of white people in America. And there are a lot of white people over the age of 35 who are going to be watching the Super Bowl who are, a bunch of people are going to be like, who the fuck is Kendrick Lamar? Mm -hmm. And other people are just not going to know his music. Now, I know that the argument is, and Dre and Snoop, and that was huge, but demographically, they stretch further. Sure. They hit old and, and young. Sure. Kendrick Lamar is so narrow as far as the choice. It's so narrow, dude. And yeah, I, I just think like, I, I don't, it'd be nice to know a song of the person who's performing. One. But I couldn't name a song. Now, I'm not good at naming names of songs anyways. You're terrible at it. I'm terrible. But, and the Kendrick songs that you play for me, I like, mm -hmm. but I, I mean, how many, how many times is, are they going to play They Not Like Us? Like, first of all, it's just called Not Like Us. Whatever. Second of all, second of all, you're, look, okay. The reason Kendrick was picked, of course, right now after the, I'm mean, not the feud or battle or whatever the fuck it, the beef it was, Kendrick right now is Arguably the biggest rapper on the planet. For who? For for everything, Str dude. Streams, uh, music videos, uh, views and within twenty four hours. The dude dropped three diss tracks with three videos in twenty four hours, and each one of them charted at number one for more than two weeks. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, is like, yes, maybe the 35, 40 plus year olds won't see it, but I also feel like by putting Kendrick in it, because look, truthfully. You're right. The halftime show is for the gays and the girls. Yeah. Putting Kendrick in this, I not completely fills that void, but it brings back like, I'm going to watch the halftime show. And any guy who usually doesn't watch the halftime show, who's my age, is going to now watch the halftime show. So he, ho hold on, hold on, mm -hmm. hold on. So yes, they may lose a little more of a percentage with the girls and the gays. 100%. And the older whites. The older whites barely watch the fucking halftime show anyway. The older whites watch Dre and Snoop. The older whites watch Prince. The older whites would watch Beyonce. Okay, Prince was what, 2012? It doesn't matter. My but, point but, is but, you're hitting yeah. a lot of demographics. Okay, but not just one. Yeah, sure, whatever. But like when Lady Gaga was on it, the old whites weren't watching that. Disagree. This yeah, old white. Yeah, would. just because you're one old white doesn't count. Like I'm saying, like your your average basic American old white person would not be watching Lady Gaga. Was not watching Rihanna. Okay. Disagree. I, I watch Rihanna. Well, I'm not talking about you, dog. I'm talking about people who are not as cultured or into like pop culture as you and Mom are. Hold on, let me okay. finish my goddamn thought. Golly. Put a pin in it. Write it down. Kendrick is going to bring in also a lot more of the younger generation to come in and watch this halftime show. When kids are at, we used to go to Super Bowl parties all the time, yeah. right? At people's houses. And I was young. During halftime, I would go outside and throw a football around with my friends. Kids that age now are going to sit inside and watch the halftime show because they want to watch Kendrick Lamar perform. Now, the only thing I have to say about why I don't think Kendrick is a great choice, production-wise and production value, Kendrick's never really been a huge production dude. Like, he's never really been about all the lights and the, the pyro and a lot of moving shit. Like, I've seen him three times. Uh, last time I saw him at uh, Life is Beautiful here in Vegas, which was last fall, he just had a, a pretty blank backdrop. He had a good light setup, but he had four dancers that followed him around the entire set. So his product, like, what I would say his production value is, is not through the fucking roof, but I think he'll probably pick it up for the Super Bowl. Now, what I will also say is, I think there was another, not political reason, but hidden reason. Okay, but why, let me let me just, before Kendrick you get picked, into that. Go ahead, yep. When you bring up Rihanna, pop music spans more demos than Kendrick's music. Okay. Right? It, it is more accessible to more people. Okay. And like I said, I just, this is a, this is a business, right? Mm -hmm. This is a business you would think you would want to hit the most people that you possibly could. I, I the, man, I would watch, even though I didn't love Beyonce, 
you know I don't love Beyonce. Mm -hmm. I'm watching that halftime show because I know even if I don't love the music, it's going to be great to watch. I agree. She's production wise, dance wise. Agreed. It's going to be fucking great. I think in general, and I, and I watched Dre and Snoop and those guys because that's, I love that music and it was more, I think rap music in general live is it, it, it was a terrible halftime. Isn't show. as much fun, maybe? It was, it was a terrible halftime. But show. at least we there was a it spanned generations sure. and 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 a lot of people were like, oh, I like that song. I love that song. Sure. I'm gonna watch that song. Sure. All right, go ahead with the political. Uh, I it's not political. I think it's a, like an underlying, like hidden business move. With the all the beef and the shit with Kendrick and Drake and all that. Okay. So by the way, again, you're saying that like most people know. I know because I'm hanging out with you, but I don't, I think you're missing out that there are more than half the people in this country who could give a fuck about a rap beef. No, no, a hundred percent. I'm not saying you have to give a fuck about the rap beef to understand that. Right. Let me just explain also a little bit. Here, backstory for you old white people, okay, who listen to this and don't know. Drake and J. Cole did a song that referenced Kendrick. It wasn't a shot at him at all. It was almost like, a, it was like, I don't know who's the biggest rapper. Is it me, J. Cole? Is it Drake? Or is it Kendrick? Was okay. that BBL Jersey? No, no, no. BBL Jersey came out after like, okay. the beef started. Did like that. BBL Jersey. Anyway. BBL Jersey. Yeah, I love that. Um, and so when Kendrick heard that, he went on an album with uh, a rapper named Future and a producer named Metro Boomin. Metro is the one who made the BBL Jersey beat. Just so you know. Okay. He did a verse that pretty much took shots at J. Cole and at Drake for their, their song called First Person Shooter. Now, in that song, First Person Shooter, with Drake and J. Cole, starts out with J. Cole saying, me and Drizzy are as big as what? As big as the Super Bowl. It starts out with that line. Then, fast forward through all of this beef and all the rap and not, and not like us and all that, for the Super Bowl to then pick Kendrick to be the Super Bowl halftime show, like the, it's like maybe it's I'm overthinking it. Maybe it's a coincidence, but for me, it just feels like there's a little bit of correlation between that because everybody will say Kendrick won that beef battle, okay. and I would agree with that. So to then pick him after that song is released, where Drake's like me and me and J Cole are as big as the Super Bowl, to then be like, well, maybe not. I want to pick. We're gonna pick the dude who just kind of obliterated you on a global stage. I would say I can't say that seems like it could have legs. If I knew who was in the decision making process, correct, correct. Like, but it's also probably it was, a bunch of old white people, right? So, who don't know give a fuck about that beef. I now, agree. I had heard that Jay Z was involved somehow in the picking. Yeah, and I don't know who's team if he's Team Kendrick or Team J Cole Drake. By the way, it's just Drake. J Cole's not. J Cole's out of the. J Cole's been out of the beef for a long okay. time. So yeah, I don't. But I do know that Jay Z and Drake have had a little beef in the past. Have they? Yeah. 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 Or what? Uh, you know what? I don't care enough. Fair enough to really dig in and find. Fair enough. But I, I also will say, like, yeah, like, uh, Kendrick hasn't put out the most music ever, but his albums, album after album, are absolute okay. slaps. So here's my thing. Also, is like that. There's a couple songs off his damn album, which won a Pulitzer Award, which is amazing. That dude. everybody will know. DNA and loyalty. When you say everybody, uh, the on. older people have heard these songs. Stop right before. now. Stop right now. Matt, DNA or loyalty? Heard either one of them? If I played a the songs. Ask me. Ask me. Have you heard either one of them? You have. If I played the songs, you would know them. No. 100%. 0%. You want to make it 100%? I, we can't play them now because we get demonetized. But 0%, because if you played a song for me right now that was Kendrick Lamar, I couldn't tell you, hey, that's Kendrick Lamar. Right. But you might still know the song. I No. Wait, if I played it, can we mute our audio for a second and then we come back into it? Because I just want, like, I'm trying to prove a point here. Okay. All I, right. I'm 100% so trying to prove a point here. But the, you just proved it. But with the point you just proved with Matt, I, Matt but, knew I was coming to him. Yeah, I was shaking his head. 100%. But you even said you don't know song titles. I well, don't. But you know songs because you've heard them before. Okay. Play, right? play, right? play. But am I, am I wrong? It, which one are you playing? I'm going to play Loyalty with Rihanna. Okay. I like Rihanna. Okay. Hold on. Let me get to the. Let me get to the... Get to the hook so we yeah. can... Never heard this song. No, Jacob. You never heard this song? No. 
Okay, let me try. Let me try DNA. This there's is no, like, by the way, this is like no, me. This is like me playing Eagles songs for you in New Zealand, guys. You know, Jacob was in the back. No, nah, never heard that. For real? No. Maybe you're just that old now, which is such a bummer. It, it makes me sad. <laughs> Are you dying that fast I already? Don't Jesus. Know those songs, dude. Mom does. No, she does not. Cap. She would tell you she did to feel, make you feel better because that's what moms do. But I'm make, a, make herself feel better. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, this is a good. It's like, you know what it's like? You know how you get blinders on in your generation. It's exactly like the Eagles in New Zealand, by the way. Dude, it's exactly like I was 1000% <laughs> sure I was going to play you eight songs from the Eagles that you knew. And you knew one of them and it was called Hotel California. California. <laughs> and the only reason you might have known that is because I did a parody of it. No, I, everybody knows Hotel California. Okay. But by the way, also, I, they, they, I think they have a residency coming up with a sphere. They do. The residency that zero people asked for. Thank you very much. Yeah, I am for sure. Their residency that is like, I mean, who... Are Who's there going that to see many that? eighty year olds that want to go to chance. the sphere for three Zero months? Zero chance. Those ticket prices, they're gonna be paying people to go to the fucking show. Here's what I will say is that if it was anywhere else, I would be like, there's no way they sell eighteen thousand tickets that many times in a row. But the sphere is the show. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? hundred percent. Like when I went to the dead, dude, the the sphere was the show. Yeah. And John Mayer. Yeah. That dude is just ridiculous. Love him. But here, let me tell you the other thing that I didn't, that I picked up about this Kendrick Lamar thing. I, there's a rapper named Boozy. Yeah. Okay. He's from New Orleans. Yeah. He's dumb. All right. All right. I don't know anything about him, but he was pretty passionate that Lil Wayne. Agreed. That's my other, that's my other note. Okay. So let me say this about Boo and Boozy was like, it should be New Orleans artists. Agreed. I think that is, one of, I understand what he's saying. If it was a hip hop uh, concert in New Orleans celebrating hip hop, mm. it is not. Mm -hmm. It's a business. Mm. And you know who, you know who, it, it, there's few people who are going to be interested in Kendrick Lamar less oh, in Lil Wayne. Disagree. Less in Lil Wayne disagree. and less in Boozy. Oh, Dude, oh, boozy. at this yeah. point, Lil Wayne, and I, and I think Lil Wayne is, Arguably, is in the Mount Rushmore. A hundred percent. Could argue him in the Mount Rushmore. He is a he's a mumbly dude right now, dude, and he's not as popular as he used to be. And outside of New Orleans, again, outside of New Orleans, this isn't a new a celebration of New Orleans rap. No. This is what can we put on halftime that we think gets us the most view, most views. Now you're already fucking it up by putting somebody on that only a, a small demographic of people in the country are going to want to watch. But you would fuck it up even more if you took that small demo and you made it even smaller and you put it with somebody who's not as relevant anymore and is really just regionally important. Now, the people at... And here's another thing. It's not like it would be a huge hit at the uh, in New Orleans at the, at the game because most of those people aren't going to be from New Orleans. So sure. why the fuck would they care? And I know he was equating it to L.A. with Snoop and Dre. Snoop and Dre, their reach is so much bigger than Lil Wayne and Boozy. Okay, fucking but Boozy, Boozy should never be doing anything. I, I, he's listen, just dude, not, I, I, but, I, I, I just from people that I've talked yeah, to, yeah, yeah, sure. He has a lot of respect in his community, yeah, but and in the people in the game. Big. But it doesn't matter. Like, like, so I, I don't want to poo-poo some dude that I don't know. But but I would say the fact that I don't know him means there's really he should not be performing at halftime at the Super there's Bowl. There's zero chance Boozy would ever get a shot at the Super Bowl. If he was saying, I didn't hear that. I, I agree with Boozy saying Wayne should be there. But if Boozy says he should be there, that's the Dude. biggest cra crap. But also Wayne should be be there. No, Wayne should. I, I, it's New I, Orleans. He should be there, but he shouldn't be a headliner. Oh, uh, I think I. I also thought when I New Orleans, I thought Wayne also. Who? who I but by the way, also name them. one. Name one Lil Wayne song. Six foot, seven foot. Uh, uh six foot, seven foot. Mega eight man. Foot bunch. That's actually Daylight, that's, 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 his, that's his chorus. Yeah, six. Dude, that is from hey, a uh, Harry Belafonte uh, song. Mega of the man. 40s. Blunt blowing. Lil. Uh, I like the view. Uh, two shots. Um, Stop right now. Uh, Millie. Stop right now. Uh, Matt, this this Matt, officer. Have you heard any of those songs? No. No, that's well. fine. Me that's neither, fine. dude. That's fine. Wee, 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 yeah. wee, wee, <laughs> yeah. wee, but here's my point. Wee, but here's my point. Wee. Like a cop car. Lil Wayne is not the most relevant dude right now. Sure. But so to argue that 
and they're like, well, Dre and Snoop, they are so much more relevant even now than the, the New Orleans rappers. It's crazy. Okay, I want to say one thing. Put some respect on Lil Wayne's name. Dude, you, I, you, I, you, I just not, said Mount Rushmore. Yeah, but then but after, right now, but he's after. not. You, I'm going to tell you something. I'll spend, listen, you ready for it? He's not popping off right now, Jake. No, dead because ass. he's got to help to stop it. My dad just learned the term dead ass this weekend, <laughs> and dead ass doesn't know how to use it correctly. Dead ass. He does it. Dead ass. Yeah, sure. Not as relevant right now, but I'm going to tell you right now. You said Mount Rushmore for him. Absolutely. And then contradicted yourself by saying to take Kendrick, which is a demographic, and then put it to a smaller regional demographic for Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne isn't just regional. Like, he's, he been, is putting now. Out, he's been putting out music since the early 2000s. That none of a, that no, two out of three in the people in this room that's don't That's because know. you white men don't listen to rap music. This is my point exactly. But that's fine. Like, Lil Wayne has hit, 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 hits. Like, stop, stop fucking playing. I, I'm with not, me. I don't, I honestly. Real G's move in silence like lasagna. Okay. That is a great sentence. And it's, I don't know. It's what, a Lil Wayne bar. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. And, and I have I, listened to Lil Wayne and, I, and, and, and no disrespect because I really, when I listen, I'm like, oh, this is good. I, I enjoyed the lyrics. I, but I go back to it's a business for the NFL and for whatever sure. network. Sure. And I'm sure the network was like, uh, oh, I don't think Lil Wayne is lighting up the ratings, nor is Boozy or any of the New Orleans artists. Boozy should have never put himself in that conversation. Just saying. I'm just saying. It seems... I, I was hoping it was going to be Lil Wayne specifically because of New Orleans. Is it Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne. Okay. Lil Wayne. Yeah. But also... Lil Wayne well, sounds Lil, like someone's Lil, cousin. Lil Wayne is not the most relevant. Is that Lil Wayne? But like, he's he does... He's I, a big... Stop it. Hold on. God damn it. <laughs> Jesus, Fuck. Lil Wayne, though, is kind of relevant in college football because he does the college Agreed. game days a, a decent amount of times. Yep. Yep. He's a big LSU guy. Agreed. He's a big supporter. Agreed. He's had a lot of those games. Yep. So I feel like you still could have put Lil Wayne in that spot. I get the Kendrick pick because of where his brand is and where he's at right now in, in music and just what he has done in the last, I don't know, five months. But like... I personally would have liked it to be Lil Wayne. Am I mad that it's Kendrick? Headline Lil Wayne? Fuck yeah. Dude, no way. It's, uh, just, also, it's just a bad business decision. I on... know, but I don't give a fuck about their business. Okay, so now, now we're getting into it. I don't give it. a fuck about the NFL's business. Yeah, now we're getting into it. It's, like, the, it's the it's NFL a, and it's the network. Right, but as a personal, like, for people who watch the halftime show, they don't give a fuck about the NFL's business. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah, they yeah, want to yeah, see yeah. someone. They want to see perform. I agree. But I'm not mad on seeing Kendrick perform. I would have much rather liked to see Lil Wayne. All right. Well, listen, you're, wee, 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 you're, wee. you're, um, like a cop car. You know, it's crazy when I put the baby hand on. I don't, I never do treat it like a full. I'm always like this. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? <laughs> Um, I the babe, again, I for those of you listening, that. by the way, the baby hand is back in full effect. Smoking baby hand is back. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is what I smoke my joints out of. And the high live is back on Tuesday nights. Um, right now it is back on my Facebook and YouTube pages. Um, we're trying to decide between a seven and eight o'clock Pacific time start date, start time. But, um, the high live is back everybody by popular demand. Some exciting um, information about that coming up. Um, we are, when does this drop, Matt? Next week. All right. So we are, I'm in Reno this week. I will not be there. I'll be in London. I'm in Reno this week. And the week after that, we're in Winnipeg. The week after that, we are in Lexington, Lexington Kentucky. And the week after that, we go Bozeman, Salt Lake City, Boise, everybody. Woo! Get your tickets now. Um, also, guys, thank you so much for listening to this podcast. Um, the comments and and uh, the messages we get from everybody at shows and online, amazing. We want to ask you guys, if you can help us out a little bit, if you're listening to this, um, to please download and rate, leave a comment, subscribe. These are all very important things for us. Um, and also, man, Listen, if you're watching this, put your headphones in and uh, cozy up to a fireplace and listen to us. You know, there's zero people listening to us next to a fireplace. Well, how do you know? Maybe they're in Burlington, Vermont. They're getting ready to go skiing. Burlington? Burlington. Burlington? I guess I've never really been in Vermont. So, 
You've never been to Vermont. Is that one of the Bur- states you've never been to? Burlington Co Factory? Maybe that's where it's from. That's but that's that's Burlington. That's all I know is the Burlington Co Factory. Burlington, Vermont is an actual place. Mm. Um, I don't think I've ever been to Vermont. I think it's one of those states. Okay. I think, I think Vermont and New Hampshire are the two just like random East Coast states I've never been to. That's good to know. But other than that, I think I've hit yeah. every of those, like nor- that, that Northeast corner. We'll get you in there. Yeah. Um, I mean, no, no rush. Yep. <laughs> uh, Australia, we just booked January. Ow! Looks like New Zealand it might be in there too. Um, but guys, once again, uh, oh, I also want to say um, we are... We really want to answer your questions and talk to you through email. So reach out to Hey Man Pod, that is man with three A's, heymanpod at gmail.com. And man, parenting advice or life advice, any advice. And I'll tell you what, if we read your email on the show, I will give you two tickets to come see us at a show close to you. All right. So if you send in an email and we read it, two tickets to you. Love it. I also want to remind everybody, and this is really important. Man, I know times are tough, uh, and I love watching families come to our shows. I want to remind you that if you are a family, single parent, if you're a dad looking to reconnect with a kid, a mom looking to reconnect with your kid, you feel like you connect to Jacob and I or, or to comedy, if you're brothers and sisters, if you're family members and you're looking to reconnect and you've bonded over our comedy or our relationship and you don't have money to come out to a show, I want to remind you I'm giving away 10 tickets a weekend to people. Mm-hmm. Reach out to me. Heymanpod at gmail.com. Heymanpod at gmail.com. Don't reach out on Facebook. Don't reach out on Instagram. HeyManPod at gmail.com. Um, if you are in that category and you're looking to come out and for a night of fun and relaxation, but you don't have the money to do it, I would love to be able to help you with that. Anyways. Can I get something on that same note as well, though? Yes. Uh, I, a lot of people who have come to see us repeatedly have said, oh, you know, we almost thought about not coming because the ticket prices are so much higher than usual. Guys, do not go to a third-party website. Who said that? It happened this past weekend. So I'm not going to say where we were because the podcasts are in whatever order. Somebody saw an ad somewhere on Facebook and it took them to a third party. So maybe there was a wrong link on that spot. But so guys, do not, do not, do not go to a third party website to buy these tickets. Comedianjoshua.com for all tour dates and tickets. The, tic- the, the link on the website will take you to the place and the venue we're performing where they have the ticket prices that he has set for you guys to be able to get, okay? Do not go to a third-party website, like whatever, StubHub, Ticketmaster, whatever thing you're going to go. Go to ComedianJoshWolf.com, follow the link that is there, and go to that website, okay? And you right. will get the ticket prices. Uh, also, I, I want to say, like, while I'm looking at myself in this, I've never had, like, my mustache grow this far down yeah, before. Yeah, I saw that. Like, it's, like, at the little corner of my lip. I fucking hate it. Like, I don't understand why... It's just like all of a sudden it's like, hey, let me just like, I, it's like, it's weird. I, I got to get rid of it because I feel like there's just like, it's like, it's like every time I talk, I feel a sharp little boop on my fucking lip or my, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't, facial hair is weird, man. My whole life, I always, like as a kid, couldn't grow it, wished I could fucking have it. And now when I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, God, I got to get rid of this shit. And it doesn't grow evenly and it grows out like long and not bushy. And I have a lot of, you know, complaints about that, but, um, but that's, that's beside the point. Hey, everybody. If you like taste of beer, I want to tell you about Best Day Brew. Listen, it is such a good beer. I love the IPA. You guys are like, but Josh, you don't drink. That's right. But I'm still calling it a beer, even though it's non-alcoholic, because it tastes so good. It is legit. Like, if I was still drinking beer, I would probably... Still drink this one, the alcoholic one. If I was still drinking alcohol, I would drink this non-alcoholic beer. It tastes so good. Not only that, nostalgia-wise, cracking a can, I miss doing it. A cold one, I can drink them with Jacob. I can drink them with my daughter. I can drink them with my oldest son. I drink them with Beth. It's amazing. I, I, I love to be able to crack a cold one open 
on a hot day here in Vegas. Super refreshing. Tastes amazing. It is also still owned by a small company. They have not sold it to Anheuser-Busch or any of these other big places. So the quality is still top notch. Guys, best day brew. Amazing tasting beer. No alcohol. Fuck yeah. Uh, I'm going to London this week. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so if there are any UK listeners uh, who have some, we have a lot of plans of stuff to do. I'm only there for two days and then I'll be in Leicester for the next three after that. But if anything's, anybody's got anything fun or weird that might be in London, DM me. Um, and uh, also, if you see me wandering the streets or on the tube or fucking whatever, come up, come say what's up. I always like to meet people and say, hey, so uh, like I said, I'll be in London for uh, be in London for a couple days this, this next coming week. All right, thank you. And let's get into, I, you had some yeah, there, news stories. There is a serial porch pooper. Okay. About that, I, I think I posted about this on my Instagram. I think so. I, I think we should talk about it though. Okay. Like, so you know about it. Obviously. I know about it, and it turns out he's autistic. Oh, I thought it was a crime—a crime of passion. It, uh, it seems like a crime of passion to repeatedly go and shit on the same person's porch. Seems like a crime of passion. Yeah. What? what I don't know if I'm using that term right, but for me, it seems very passionate. What tipped me <laughs> off for sure is his direct look into the camera. I was like, oh, this dude's not all there. He's looking well, straight into the I didn't the think camera. he was all there anyways because he was shitting on somebody's porch. Yeah, but I've, <laughs> sh I've shit on someone's lawn before. But yeah, lawn, but not porch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my point. It's like still I, part of you is like, let's get it on the grass and make it look like a dog did it. I love but, how you okayed me pooping on someone's lawn. You're like, that's fine. Hey, so, <laughs> hey sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. Like if you're, if, if you're drunk walking home and it's, you know, you got a mile to go and it's like either shit on someone's lawn or shit your pants, I'm shitting on someone's lawn. Okay. But you, also if it's a crime of passion, shit on someone's lawn. When you say crime of someone's passion, and by the way, you know I've shit on the side of our house before. In a shoebox. I got a picture of it. Yep. That's not the only time I've ever shit on the side of the house. At Matillaha, dude, at Matillaha, I had done that um, naked and afraid after show. Yeah. And the night, this was the show where we ate goat brain, oh, sheep brain, yeah, yeah, cow yeah. brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they all seemed a little undercooked. Mm. And you know, you know how like you have to poop kind of, but then when you pull into your driveway, you have to poop a lot. Yeah, it's the minute you see your house. The minute you see your house, you're like, oh, I'm, this shit's coming out right, right now. now. Yeah. And so that, it happened. I was like, I think I can hold it until I get inside. And I pull into the driveway. I'm like, I might not make it out of the car. Oof. You know that feeling of yeah, like yeah, yeah. this is like legit. Oh, oh, so where are so on the side where the uh right underneath your window. Wait, no, that's the wrong side. Well, there's the front side that you used to sneak out of. And then you had another window on the side of the house that looked out on the Russians who stole our package who had that huge dog. I didn't have a window on that side of my Yes, dude. There was I had okay. There on. was two windows in that room. I had one window. Uh, dude, there were two windows in that room. Are you out of your mind? Are you crazy right now? I was the one who lived in that room for 10 years. Are you telling me you don't think you had two windows in that room? One window. I'm going to I'm going to lay out I'm going to lay out my room right now. I'm you gonna, don't have to lay out your room. I was in that fucking room every dude, day for If anything it was a small bay window up top that was a small rectangle. There's no bay window in that. Then my point, there was one fucking window. No. Dog, oh. Am I thinking about Caitlin's room? Caitlin's room had one window. That was my room. No, dude. The but wait, wait. Okay. What, which one are we talking about? We're talking about not the small room, the big room. One window. Two windows, dude. Oh, it's my. so ridiculous. I can't believe we're having this conversation right now. Let me lay it out for you. Let me lay You it can out. lay out whatever the fuck you want. I There's will lay out two whatever. Windows. I will lay out whatever the fuck I want. Lay it out. I will. Lay it out. Dude, lay it out. Door right Lay it out. Stop it. <laughs> Door right here. You walked in, right? I had a TV here. I had my desk here. I had the one window. I had the one window, right? Yeah, here. Yeah, that was the one you snuck out of. That's the only window I had. No, if you went to the left, there's a window on that wall. No, there wasn't. To the window, to the wall. I'm going to kick you in your balls. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, right. That's the one I snuck out of. Wait, sh shut up. <laughs> Desk, window. Call your mom. Bed, call, bed. Call your mom right now. Call mom right now? Call your mom. Put her on speaker. Tell her she's on the podcast. And dad and I are having an argument. And ask her. Phone off, yes or no? Phone off? I was going to say, is her phone off, yes or no? She's going to pick up for you. She wouldn't pick up for me. 
Facts. Someone's the favorite. But there's no doubt. I don't think there's right now. She knows you're on the phone and she's sprinting to it. Mother's intuition. How crazy would that be if she didn't pick up? I don't think. Yeah. Okay. You can hang out. I'm gonna. I'm, we're, I, I hope she calls back because if she does, I can't wait to ask her and can't wait to prove that I'm right. Okay. Anywho. Anyways, let me keep so, going with this story, and then when she calls back, I can tell you I told you so. Whatever. I pull into the driveway. I I not two windows. That's. <laughs> By the way, the window on that wall that you're thinking of is in the bunk bedroom. That, that, that I that, know it is. Okay, that, where's the, there's no other window in my room. That's on that wall you're thinking yes. of is in the other room. It's, I know there was one there. Okay, that's where you're thinking. There was no window on that other fucking wall. You're so wrong. Oh my God, I can't wait to prove you wrong. Should we make a bet? What kind of bet? I'll make any bet. You do feel pretty confident. I left in the room. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm confident. I'll make any bet right now. You won't have to pay me to come on the road for the rest of the year. That's how confident I am. Really? But if I'm right, you pay me double. Nah, that <laughs> feels a little <laughs> risky. <reckless. laughs> that dude, I'm telling you, I'm so confident. Because ready? I had the trundle bed. Remember the trundle? There was two beds. So I took, there was the one that was high here and the one that was low here. Right here in the middle of it, was my side table and lamp. What fucking window? I can't wait for your mom to call. Oh, me too. Okay. But I shit on that side of the house, leaning up against the house. As you should have. Well, you but, can't lean against the other side because it's ivy and a fence. Not, not in a box. And Rocky was out back. Rocky was our old dog. And was a notorious poop eater. But he turned the corner and saw me pooping, and he just looked at me like, "Are you? Am I interrupting something? Are you doing this out here now?" Or? <laughs> he kind of looked at me like, "I thought this was this is my thing." Yeah, are we both doing this out here now? What did he shit next to you? That'd have been so funny. No, he did try to come over, and I was like, "Nobody." But you know, I was really because you remember the people who lived in the yard next to us, dude. That dude with that fucking massive the the Dogo Argentino. That you super friendly, by the way. Remember he was off the leash one time and he sprint down the street and I had to pick Rocky up in my arm. Mm -hmm. That's but I, I met that dog without Rock. Super friendly dog. With Rock, not as friendly. Well, yeah, I can understand that. That but like, dog was massive. Don't, that, don't, and that don't, dude. Don't, yeah, it was the Argentina dog. And you remember those people who live next door who they got our delivery and I knocked. I'm like, and they wouldn't open the door. They just cracked it. And they're like, yeah. I'm like, did because we asked. Really, they were like, sorry, we delivered it next door. And I go, did you guys get a box? And they was like, no. And I was like, the guy said, you got it. And he just shut the door. Yep. What and was then, in the box? What's in the box? And then later that night when we were all asleep, the box showed up, but it was open. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Was anything missing, though? No, because it was just like party supplies. It was like, oh. you know, napkins and shit. Yeah, they didn't want that. Um, yeah. Let me ask you. Okay. I can't wait. For, I really hope mom calls back. What if I, if you found out that I was the, like, pooping on people's like if I was like the serial pooper I'd join in we would be like a I'm not I'm not ratting you out 100% that's funny we'd be like a father son pooping team the poop patrol poop patrol <laughs> would you I, I don't know if I'd go porch if, no I'm not doing it in front of a camera let me ask you another question if you were because when you say crime of passion you mean anger possibly it's or, not necessarily love or whatever passion. Right. You can be passionate and love and anger and, but and funny. And where whatever. to you is the funniest place if you're going to poop on someone's property? Like where for you is the funniest? And and like some, I know some people, you know, poop in a bag and light it on fire and ring the doorbell. And another one has to step it out and then yeah, step yeah. in flaming shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, what, here's the thing though. What if the person's not home? Then that shit just sets that literal shit will set their house on fire. That's not yeah, that funny. That's not funny. That's not that funny. I think, truthfully, I think what I would do is, um, is have you ever seen, like, you know, like, if I if I did this, like, with my, like, with the side of my hand on, like, something, it will make it, it's kind of like the size of, like, a baby's foot, and then you can make, like, five little toes. You would put your hand in the poop? No, you're not listening to me. I just did. I asked you no, a question. No, I'm not putting it in the poop. Oh. Like, if something's dusty, and you know how you can draw yeah. on the dust? If I did that in the dust, and then, did you know, made little five little, it would look like a baby's foot. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is I would do it on someone's car. And I would make the baby foots that it was like, looked like a baby. That's what I'm saying. So you had to put your 
hand in the poop. Oh. You're talking about pooping on someone's car. Listen, Linda. Linda. (laughs) Listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth. I did. They were very confusing. You said poop on someone's car. Correct. And then you put your hands in the poop. No, I put my hands on the dust of their car to make it look like footprints. Like a baby, a Walked ghost away baby, from the poop. left a giant human adult shit on the hood of their car. I do like that. Now that you've described it intelligently. Well, I described it intelligently, but it doesn't take that intelligent of a person to understand what the fuck I was saying. <laughs> Here's what I would do. I think that's, I would make it look like it was like, or like a cat or something. Yeah. Instead of it's like a cat, but it's like a ginormous, like human sized shit is kind of funny. It, I think that is really funny, actually. That's what I would do. On like the hood of someone's car. So if I'm, I... Makes me laugh. I think I go mailbox. Such a dick move. Oh, and shitting on someone's car isn't? Well, all of it's a dick move. Yeah, why do you feel like mailbox is like a shittier thing to do than car? Because you can't prepare yourself for it. For the car, hear me up, hear me up, hear me up. For the car, if I walk out and I see it, I go, oh, shit, literally. I would go grab like a bag or whatever and fuck it off while I take a hose. But if I go to open my mailbox, it's just surprise shit. Yeah, dude, I think I would rather have shit in my mailbox than on my car. Nah, I'm going on the car. Mailbox, you don't have anything at all. So then it gets all over your mail. And then it's like, yeah, but it's a double eye. joke. It's funny for the mailman and it's funny for, you well, mean, it's not funny for the no, mailman. No, it's funny for you to yes. the mailman yes. Yes. and to the person whose yes. mailbox is. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going twofer. I'm it's angry. I, I'm way angrier if it's on my car and I'm at least tipping my hat in acknowledgement to the joke if it's she, in my mail. Question, question. For how you get it into the mailbox, do you shit, pick it up, and then put it in the mailbox or do you just stick your asshole directly up against the mailbox? No, I think it? you shit on a plate and slide it in. A plate. Yeah, I think <laughs> you, sit, you sit like in Tupperware and you slide it in. That's my, that's my. I just picture like Indiana Jones just pressing his ass up against the mailbox. And just shitting directly I, into the mailbox. I w- by the way, it's such a bummer. I couldn't walk him today because of the smoke. Yeah, the fire. It's it's smoky. It's legit. Shaking, not shit. Okay. Well, I, I think that I listen. The the porch pooper is just my type of news story. It's exactly what. And I before um, I found out that he was autistic. I I was way more into the story because I was like, this dude is insane in just the kind of way that I like it. But then... But how do you know he's autistic? It's come out since. But then I will say the fact that they are not pressing charges is interesting. It's Be, a, I, it's, you gotta it, teach a kid a life lesson. It's interesting. I, I just don't know what's the line... Where you're like, ah, we, we're not going to press charges. Is it, if it had gone, what if he shit? Yeah. What if he shit on the porch, but then put some on the door handle? Like where, where, where is the line where people are like, yeah, we're going to have to press charges. Wait, Matt, yeah, Matt, stay on him real quick. Got to keep talking. Wait, I have a question. That's all this. I've been looking at it all the time because I see my whole hand, but this is way funnier. I, sir, sir, I have a question do, for the do, media. Do you know what I mean, though? <laughs> yeah. Well, do you know, also, like, what's the line? Because I understand this dude is, is autistic. Hold on one second. No, no. I, I understand he's autistic, so I understand you're like, okay, this is a, a, a deeper issue. But at some point, you also, if you're shitting on other people's stuff, you ha- there's got to be some level of accountability. So where, at what line do you go, uh, okay, even though he's autistic, we need to kind of get the police involved. I agree. Can I ask a question now? Yeah. Okay, course. cool. All right. Um, but also, what are you going to charge him with? Yeah, well. Like, what? Like, no, like, 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 I'm so curious. Like, what is the actual charge? Like, and I, I think it's got to be against the law. I doubt it's a felony. Vandalism? Is it really? I was going to say defecation of property. I, exactly. <laughs> Listen, dude, you, it's not, you you're not, I mean, nobody to, needs, nobody needs it. jail time. No, I agree. That's what yeah. I'm saying, though. Like, it doesn't, uh, like, what, like, vandalism, sure, I guess, but like, I feel like that's like so like a misdemeanor and not a felony. It's definitely a misdemeanor. I do want backstory. Like, did he know these people? What made him choose this porch? I don't know. Was the, it the, well lit? The picture of him looking straight into the camera and shitting. That's the type of confidence that I want. But that's also why I thought it was a crime of passion. Oh, no. Because no, he was like, I know you and I want you to see me 
that's when I knew right away. I'm like, oh, this dude is, there's something going on. Nobody shits, no mask, straight to camera. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. Nuts to butts. All right, what else you got? Um, okay. This one's kind of crazy. A husband, an Indi- a husband in Indiana admits to adding cocaine MDMA to wife's Coca-Cola's in hopes he would be able to marry her daughter. Why those two drugs? I, 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 he's serving, he was sentenced to four years in prison after confessing. He was trying to, ready, he was trying to poison her. With Which, a good time? Yeah, by the way, mixing, <laughs> I'm pretty sure mixing You're, cocaine and Molly just makes you have a whole bunch of fun. Yeah, dude, are you poisoning me with fun? I mean, what, what do you mean? And also, and by the way, and also, how, how, how does that work? Like, Oh yeah, like oh my god, my wife just died and your mom just died. Let's fuck. But like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, how but does that also work? like he told officers in 2022 in January that he had been quote spiking uh, his wife's drinks over the last few months with a substance given to him by his wife's daughter. Oh, oh, the, this, the daughter was in on it. But you can't slowly poison somebody with coke and ecstasy, you dumb fucks. No, it's not you're, if arsenic. No, if you're gonna kill someone you with gotta cocaine, you got to overdose. Oh, yeah, correct. Correct. So these are the two dumbest criminals of all time. The wife was probably just like, dude, I'm, you know what? Whatever is in these drinks, you really, these hey, make me feel but, good. But also, know? by the way, putting Coke back in Coca-Cola, if she's 70, that's the Coke she used to drink back in the day. Was she 70? Yeah, dude. 100%. How old's the husband? 70 what? How's the daughter? Uh, it doesn't say. Let me see if I can find it. But like that's the that's because you, know, you know like back in the day they used to put actual cocaine in Coca Cola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if he just did that for her regular Coke, man, it just felt like the good old days. Well, now I understand why they think it might just stop her heart because she's an old, you know, she's an old bird. So yeah. they're thinking that maybe it might, but she's probably having the time of her life. So I'm assuming the daughter, the it's a stepdad. I, I based on that. Is yeah. there a, is there a picture of this dude? I want to know I'm, what the I'm, 71 I'm, year old who's slinging I'm, dick. I want to know. <laughs> I want to know who this 71-year-old is there, like. There I is need, no I'm, picture of the 70-year-old, 71-year-old who slings dick. There isn't? Nope. The, the, uh, this is the most, this is the thing that is most intriguing to me. One, if you're trying to kill them, this woman, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. And you have a better chance of getting her high and trying to talk her into letting me fuck your daughter. Uh, he's, Okay. When deputies interviewed a then 69-year-old, his, 69. Name is, his name is Ruff, R-U-F, or Roof, or whatever the fuck is. name. R-U-F? R-U-F. What's his last name? Ruff, Sauce? Ruff Knight. <laughs> Patch? <laughs> oh, no. His last name is Ruff. His first name is Alfred. Alfred Ruff. Alfie Ruff? <laughs> Al Ruff? Is a rough name. Okay. When the deputies interviewed a then 69-year-old Ruff at the sheriff's office in 2022 of January... He told them he was already involved sexually with his wife's 31-year-old daughter from a previous marriage. So he then explained that his wife's daughter gave him a pill bottle with a, a powdery white substance in it, which I would assume is going to be cocaine mixed with MDMA. And uh, in September of 2021, and instructed him to put it in his mother's drink or in her mother's drink. Um, he was the only person. Ch- what well, This is the craziest part. Alfred, Mr. Ruff, was the only one charged in the crime. The daughter who provided the drugs was not charged anything. Really? What's, Which I think is wild to me. What's the charge? Uh, the charge is like a, 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 it looks like just trying to, like, to poison his wife. But it, it, poison, that's not poison. No, that 100%, 100%. But he did it in the hopes that it would kill his wife. But how dumb do you got to fucking be to try to poison someone with a little bit of ecstasy? Roof, uh, Roof told the deputies that the drug cocktail would make his wife go to sleep for 13 hours, which, by the way, that's not how drugs work. The cocaine made her go to sleep? And, and MDMA? You're telling me Coke mixed with Molly made you sleep for 13 hours? Like, yeah. But, like, like, but, uh, uh, but again, how many times did he do it? And how many times do you, ha- you dumb fuck, do you have to realize, didn't kill her again? Do you know what I mean? How, how, how many times is he going back to the well with this? This is the dumbest person. But I also want to see a picture of the 31-year-old. I want to see what we're dealing with. And how, what? This dude is slinging dick at, 70, oh, at ready, 71. This, this, is, this is how much dick he's slinging. Oh, okay? Shit, okay. Ready for this? Hold on. Sorry. He was what? a dick slinging son of a gun. Come on now. <laughs> He, so after he would put the drugs into her wife's drink, yep. she would go to bed. 
The 31 year old, her daughter would then call over another friend. They would then put more drugs in her drink, make her drink it again, put her out, like put her to sleep again. Then the daughter and her friend would put on a show for Alfred Ruff. He had two 31 year olds coming over for dick. Yo, Alfie is slinging dick. He, what part of the country is this? Merca. It's definitely Merca. It's definitely Merca. I'm going to, I'm he, guessing somewhere in the Southeast. Uh, I would also probably guess that. Um, I'm, that I'm, means Florida. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm going to the top of this, see if I can figure it out. Yeah. Does it say Tallahassee, oh, Florida? Indiana. Oh, Indiana. That's close. The home of the whites. That's not really close. Um, but yeah, so it, the victim's daughter told Ruth that she wanted to get her mom out of the picture once she found out they were selling their home. Uh, the victim's daughter also mentioned a life insurance policy on Ruff that her mother had in place. So, it, look. Wait, a, li a life insurance policy on the dude? Uh, yes. Wait. So the mother had a life insurance policy, so she was trying to kill the guy with vigorous sex. She was trying to heart attack him, right? And she was giving the mom cocaine and ecstasy. No, 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 tell no, you, she's, no, 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 wrong yeah. way. The victim's daughter mentioned a life insurance policy to Alfred that her mother oh. had. So they were trying to, how does, by the way, I'm going to ask any law specialists here. This is premeditated. A hundred percent. This is premeditated. Yeah. Yes, it didn't happen, but a hundred percent premeditated. How does the daughter not get jail time? How does the daughter not get any charges? Okay. 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 Let's, Let's, let's... Do you know what I mean, though? Like, that's 100% premeditation. Have you seen some of the videos, dude, circulating of people at their wedding and do, dudes finding out too late and playing videos of hidden camera, seeing his, their, then their to-be fiancés messing around with other dudes at their apartments, playing them at the wedding? Have you seen any of those videos? Okay, can I ask a clarification? Did I, did I not explain that well? No, no, no. You explained it very okay. well. Let me just ask a clarification. Was he playing the videos at the ceremony or at the reception? Ceremony. So while they're at the altar. Yeah. Let me ask. By you the way. Question. Gangster. Baller. Gangster. That is a baller. Gangster. Uh, this is the question I was going to ask. But also you. waste the money, dog. Would you? You know what I mean? No, nah, dude, I would do it. No, no. I mean, like you spent all the money getting to the wedding and then you like, the, well, then the reception's fucked. And my dinner, question and for the... you is this. If that's leading up for you, you find you're about to get married three months, uh, two months out. Okay. Everything's planned. Okay. One month. Two months is plenty of time to tell people not to come. Month, month out. Too. Month out. You find out. You have the video. What do you do? Oh, it's off. Do you do you go off? You call it off? I want my money back, dog. Yeah. I want, you know how much wedding costs. Yeah. Weddings cost. The average American wedding, it costs way too much money that I can't even fathom. I don't even, I, I've gone through prices just for fun, looking yeah. at what your baseline is. I don't even understand why flowers cost that much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't. I get the food and yeah. the catering. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Why the fuck are flowers so expensive? Can I I'm tell a guy, you? Maybe I just, the math don't math, but like we could get fake flowers that are way less expensive. That's but, true. Like, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. No one's keeping all the fucking flowers. I but, am a thousand percent doing it at the wedding. I'm not going through with it. I'm, I'm doing it before we get married. So there's no I do. I want my money back. I am, I am all for the spectacle, the laughs. It's going to make it memorable for the people there at the wedding. Sure. I'm keeping the reception. She's going to go somewhere else. But I'm going to be like, hey, everybody, we're still partying. We still got food. You flew all the way out here. You know, this wasn't the exact entertainment you were expecting, but it's a day you'll never forget. Yeah, just, yeah, I get that. I get that. But like, yeah, I think it's just the money thing for me. Yeah. Like, because I, I, only, I only ever want to do marriage once. Yeah. So if I have to just waste all that money for what was supposed to be the happiest day of my life, then it turned, but I'm already but, not getting deposits back. Right. And, no. What, a month out? For real? Nah. Not if once you get a deposit. That's, well, I, okay. Deposit. But like the deposit isn't the entire thing. No. The deposit but, is a whole. Yep. So I would still get some of my money back. Yeah. I'm going for, and you know me, I'm going for experience over money. I also don't think I would be able to hold it in for a month. Oh, dude. I could. I totally could. I mean, I guess it all depends. I tell you. But like, I, I would look to, because like, again, like I said, I want to do marriage once. 
Yeah. So to spend all that money twice would be a pain in my fucking ass. Yeah, yeah. I would. Do you know what I mean? Like, I would. Second marriage would be more of a let's go to Vegas. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. I, I think what we established once again on this pod in this episode is how great of an idea it is to have Kendrick, but it should have been better if it was Little Wayne. How much better my generation is Fucking at providing generation. entertainment for a wider swath of okay, people. I'm sorry. Is Beyonce your generation? No. Is Lady Gaga your generation? No. No, is but Rih they, is, is Rihanna your they generation? They hit our gen. They hit my generation. Though. Yeah, That's the but point. you just said your generation provides better entertainment. Fuck out of here. Well, my generation does provide. Better. Cap. Your generation's old as fuck. Yeah, dude. Our rap artists are so much better than yours. I would disagree with that. You can disagree. Who, you, who are you putting? Who, put Nas. Yeah, Nas is on Biggie. Nas is still Tupac, putting out music. Snoop, Dre. I'm I'm gonna say right now, neither Snoop or Dre is in the Mount Rushmore. Outcast, not in the Mount Rushmore. Ah! And also, that was a duo. Uh, uh, Andre three thousand, still not Mount Rushmore. Who's Mount Rushmore for you? I give you. It's so hard for me to do Mount Rushmore because for me sometimes it's interchangeable, but like for sure, a hundred percent, my number one on Mount Rushmore, Eminem. I would say he's my generation. Early 2000s. Late it's 1990s. Not, early 2000s is not your generation. Late 1990s. I was 30. That's right in my wheelhouse. Eminem and... Eminem, Eminem is not much younger than me, dude. Yeah. Eminem's still my generation of rap. Eminem is not your generation of rap. You're putting Eminem in your generation he's of rap? He's closer to mine than yours. I would disagree with that 100%. You were three. I was 30. Yeah, too old to be listening to rap. D you're <laughs> almost 30. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true, God damn it. All right. That puts him closer to my generation than yours. For sure, Eminem, my generation. No, listen, dude. Can I just do this for you? Yeah, you can't flip me off with that. And that doesn't bug me. I know. I love it. All right. Um, Play us out. Uh, Oh, you're not even going to let me... What do you want to do? Oh, you said Mount Rushmore. Okay, go ahead. Uh, it's hard, though. Like, I would put... I, I think arguably Lil Wayne could be up there. I Jay-Z is for sure your generation. I'll give you that one. Um, but I'm putting... Because personally, it's interchangeable Kendrick or J. Cole. Okay. 100%. But... And Pac and Biggie interchangeable as well. Nas? Nas could be... Uh, has an argument to be up there. 100%. Yeah, the argument is... He's 100% up there. That's the argument. Who's your four? Uh, it's hard because for me, truthfully, I go, yeah, I, I'm with you on, on Tupac and Biggie. I'm okay with either one. But I'm West Coast, so I'm going. I love Nas. I love him. And I mean, hard not to throw Jay-Z on there. Yeah, for sure. But look, dude, you know, if you're talking personal favorites, LL's and my personal favorites. Okay. I'm going back to Cali. Cali. Come on. Don't call it a comeback. I do know that one. Yeah, dude. I, listen, I'm good. I, I, by the way, might be the only LL Cool J song I know. Really? I'm jingling, baby. Go ahead, baby. No? By the way, there was no tune to that. You just said a sentence of words. Well, I, I can't really I was... do a tune. I'm jingling, baby. Go ahead, baby. You could do it in the cadence that he did. It. I'm jingling, baby. Go ahead, baby. It's yeah, the same thing. thing. <laughs> By the way, I'm trying to see how many times I can catch you to do it. Um, tell them where to send their emails in. Yo, send your emails and questions to heymanpod with three A's at gmail.com. Like the old man said earlier, if we read your question on the podcast, two tickets for you and a special someone to come see us in a city near you. Hey, guys, I'm dropping my special. My special is called Four Stories. Um, I'll be dropping it October 2nd. Looks like around the time. I'm dropping it on YouTube. Um, and here's what I would ask for everybody listening, everybody watching. Um, spread the word if you can. Tune in the day or or the day after when it's being released. Um, but man, you know, I uh I shot it myself, I paid for it myself. I made it a personal. What I mean by that is that like I didn't zhuzh it up. I, um, you'll see, and I'll get into it more when, um, when we get closer, but you know, I didn't, 
I didn't have an audience person telling everybody to stand up when I walked out and stand up when I walk off. I, I didn't, uh, I used a lot of the things that people would have cut people talking, audience interaction. Uh, I had to kick somebody out. Mm -hmm. It is, and it is four stories. If you like storytelling and you like a real comedy experience, that's exactly what this was. I couldn't be more proud of, of, uh, of this material. And I will say this, these four stories for me are four of my favorites that he's ever told. And uh, if you also really want to get a true experience of what a Josh Wolf comedy show is and what goes down and how he handles it and what we do, this is the special you want to watch. You'll really get a feel for, you know, who he is and, and how he handles shit on stage and how he exactly what he said. He doesn't judge it up. He doesn't tr- try to make it look better for the camera or for you guys. He's going to give you that very authentic experience that you get every time you come see him live. For sure. Thanks. Dude. So go see that shit. When he drops it, I can't fucking wait. My favorite story you've ever told, I'm pretty sure, isn't that special. It is. God damn it. I love that. So again, send your questions to heymanpod, three A's in the man at gmail.com. If your question gets read here on the podcast, two, two, two tickets for you and a special someone. Or if you want to come solo, dolo it out. Respect to you as well. Um, thank you guys, as always, for coming to watch, coming to listen, for always tuning in. None of this is possible without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Comedianjoshwolf.com for tickets. Guys, again, comedianjoshwolf.com for tickets. Do not go to any third-party websites, okay? Go to the link that is in upcoming shows. It'll take you to the venue that we're performing at and give you the correctly priced tickets, okay? Comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates and tickets. Josh Wolf Comedy on all platforms. Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. I'm about to change it to Jacob underscore Wolf. I can't fucking wait. And it's Jake Wolf on TikTok, which I should always possibly also probably change to Jacob Wolf. Um, but as always, thank you guys again. And again, Tell somebody you love them today. Do something nice for someone. We'll see you all next week. Hey, if you like this podcast you just watched, you're going to love the one I'm popping up in your face right now. Check it out.